if you're like me, you probably have a bunch of old chargers and wall adapters laying around. All of them still work, but they just cannot plug into those newer gadgets, many of which require USB power. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to save an old cell phone charger from the garbage bin by adding a USB port to it. Here's what you'll need for this project. A soldering iron, a USB port, something to cut cables with, and of course an old cell phone power adapter. I am also going to use Sugru for this project, though this one is optional. Keep in mind that you cannot just use any wall adapter. Make sure that yours has an output of 5 volts DC. The one that I'll be using came from an old cell phone, and even though it is 10 years old, it will still work perfectly fine. This is called a USB Type-A female breakout board, which basically means that the USB port is soldered onto a small circuit board. This saves us a lot of trouble by making it much easier to do all the wiring. I got mine from China, it cost me 77 cents delivered, though it did take over a month to arrive. And Suguru is kind of like Play-Doh and glue put together. You can mold it into shape and stick things to it. I got this 8-pack on sale for about $17. Really cool stuff. Ok, now let's get hacking. I first cut the original connector at the end of the charger. This exposed two wires, one carries 5 volts and the other is ground. Do not worry too much if the wires inside your cable are of different colors. As long as you have about 5 volts across them, you'll be perfectly fine. Then I trimmed the sides of the USB board to make it smaller. This step is optional, but recommended. Just be careful not to cut any of the important connections on the board. Now it is time to solder the wires to the USB board. The 5V wire goes to VCC and the other goes to ground. You do not need to connect the two data connections in the middle. Make sure they do not touch any other electrical connection. I am now going to wrap the USB port in Sugru. Again, you do not need to do this, but adding some kind of protection will ensure that your USB charger lasts longer and works more reliably. Having these connections exposed really isn't a good idea. And that's it! You now have a perfectly usable USB charger that you can use to charge a phone or a USB powered accessory. And as an added bonus, the charger's existing power cable works as an extension, so you can use your phone while it's charging. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe for more project videos.